Hello everyone, my name is Carl and in this video I'm going to show you how you can export meshes from Unreal Engine and quickly edit them in Blender so that you can customize your meshes that you have even further. For this video I'm going to be using the Advanced Village Pack and that's actually available for free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So if you go to the Launcher and go to Marketplace, you'll see there's a free tab at the top here. If you go to Permanently Free Collection, currently on page 4 of that, you can find the Advanced Village Pack. And that's a really cool pack with some stylized uh, village assets and stuff like that. Cool. So let's jump back into Unreal Engine and let's go look for a mesh that we want to edit. So if we go to your advanced village pack, go to meshes. And one that can be quite useful is we have these, it's called SM Bridge. And it's basically a collection of planks that are connected together to form a little platform like this. But it could be quite useful to have each of these planks separately as a separate mesh as well. And to do that, we can export the mesh and break it apart in Blender. So let's right click the mesh, go to Asset Actions, select Export. And then you can just select where you want to export your mesh to. I'm just going to place mine in a folder that I've created for this. So we click Save. And you can leave all of this except just disable level of detail and disable collision as well. And click on export. Cool. Now we can hop over to Blender. And the first time you open Blender, this is what you'll see. We can just press A to select everything and then press X to delete and click on delete. Now we can go to file, import, FBX, because we exported an FBX file out of Unreal Engine. So click on FBX. And then we can go and look for the folder that we exported our asset to. And there we go, SM Bridge VAR1. Import FBX. Cool, and there we have our mesh open in Blender now. You can hold down your middle mouse button or your mouse wheel. Just click in on your mouse wheel and drag to rotate around the object. Now to separate all of these, we can just click to make sure the object is selected with this yellow line around it. And then press Tab to go into Edit Mode. And then to separate all of these, we can simply press P. And this little menu that says separate will pop up. And we can either separate by selection or by material or by loose parts. And we can select loose parts. And then press tab again to go back to object mode. And just click on the background to deselect everything. And I can see we have all of these planks as separate objects. Now, one thing to note is that the origin or the pivot point of each of these objects will be right at the center where the original pivot point of the main object was. So if you were to export this, the pivot point won't be in the center of your object, it'll be over there in the middle of our scene. And to fix that, we can simply right click and select set origin, origin to geometry. And now you see that little yellow dot jumps to the center of our geometry. And we can just do that for each of the planks that we want to export. Uh, origin to geometry. Let's do one more. Let's select this big one. Origin to geometry. Cool. And for this tutorial, I'm only going to do these three. So we can just click on this one. Delete, 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 and delete. Cool. And now before we export these, we want to set them to the center of our scene. And to do that, we can simply select the object, hold down Alt, and press G. So we press Alt G, select this one, Alt G, and just make sure this last one, Alt G, there we go. Now everything is nicely placed in the center of our world. And that'll make working with it much easier when we're back in Unreal Engine. Cool, now we want to export these one at a time. So let's select the first one, go to File, Export, FBX. And on the right here, just make sure that Limit to Selected Objects is enabled. Cool, so let's go back to our folder. And I'm going to call this blank one and select export FBX. Now we can select the second one, go to file, export FBX, call that blank two. And this checkbox should still be checked. Export FBX, select the third one, file, export FBX, blank, three and export fbx cool but in some cases you won't want to 
uh, just split the object into different parts. You may want to remove a certain part or just want to keep one of the parts as a separate object. And to do that, you can simply go into object mode by pressing tab. And now you can see these different vertices of the different objects. Um, so let's say we wanted to remove the center plank. We can click on one of the vertices and then just while hovering over it, we can press L on our keyboard and that'll select all the linked vertices. Now we can separate this as an object or we can just delete all of these vertices. In this case, let's separate this as an object. So we can press P and select selection. Now we can press tab again to go into object mode. Now you can see we have these as a separate object and we have this middle one as a separate object. So now we can delete this if we want, press X to delete, click on delete. And now we have this little plank set up with the middle plank missing. Cool. Now let's go back into Unreal Engine and now we can import those separate planks back into Unreal Engine as well. So let's go to the folder where we exported them. We can select all three at once and simply drag and just wait for it to change into that little plus arrow icon and you can drop and everything should be fine. Yeah, let's just say import all. Cool, and there we have our planks. Awesome, now we just need to apply the material back to them. Let's drag them into the scene quickly. And as you can see, they don't have the material applied to them yet. And to do that, let's just double click each of them to open them up. Let's just pop them as tabs in the main window. And now open one of the original planks that we had. And then we can see which material it's using. We can simply just click on this little magnifying glass to find that material in the asset browser. And with that material selected in the asset browser, we can go into each of these planks and simply click this little arrow. There we go. Second one, little arrow. There we go. Cool, and then we have all our planks as separate objects that we can move around and build new stuff with inside of Unreal Engine. And this is a really easy way to customize assets that you get on the marketplace even further to make them work perfectly for your specific projects. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.